the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Well, I'm glad you could join us. As you know, it's political season. We're trying to bring to you as many people who are running for office as possible, courtesy of Comcast. Uh, Myrna Lim is with us right now, and she is running for the Board of Supervisors in District 11 in San Francisco. And Myrna, you've got a number of issues that you're concerned about, right? Poverty, one of them. Right. Also, some of the crime issues you've got in that area. Right. Thank you so much for having me here, Jack. You're very welcome. Um, I'm, I'm running because I believe that we have to make City Hall work for the families again of San Francisco. Uh, our slogan is, take San Francisco back for families. In this district, it, it's the biggest uh, family uh, you know, for district in all of San Francisco. We have a large number of kids uh, under 18 years old, and we also have a lot of senior citizens. Uh, I grew up in the district. Uh, we went to, my dad came to the, to the district in 1969. Uh, we bought a house in 1976. So we've seen the, the, the dramatic changes in this district, and I feel very strongly that this district is really suffering a lot. Okay, give, me, give um, us an example of the kind of changes you're talking about. Well, you know, like now, crime is really a big thing. You know, this district, being a family district, you could knock on somebody's door before and somebody would open the door for you. But then, like now, we're doing door-to-door -door, uh, precinct walks and you get to somebody's door and you see literally a bank vault door. Okay, we, and we saw the killings that happened out there. That was very, very sad. It's I mean, incredible. It? Yeah. Um, and, and that's one of the basic and more fundamental policy issues that I want changed when I become a supervisor. Um, I believe that the sanctuary policy is failing the citizens of San Francisco in the area of public safety. In this district, I think the, 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 the crime that struck a lot of people's nerves and conscience most recently is the killing of the Bologna family. I happen to be um, two blocks away when that happened. I was passing out flyers at the, at the Manila Oriental Mart and a friend of mine told me, look, Mooney, you should check this out. There's this uh, court of, there's this cops everywhere. And the next day I found out what happened. And, you know, to find out that the killer of this family should, A, not be here in America. Right. B, when the opportunity came that he should have been in prison, our city failed to do so. And worst of all, he was actually protected. He was protected by fa our failed policies. I mean, let's face it, San Francisco is a very um, kind city. We're very humanitarian, but I think we go overboard in that, that our leadership failed to see that the, re that the responsibility of our leaders is to its citizens to the law-abiding citizen, to the taxpayers, and they have to protect us. Basically, what's, what's happening is you have these uh, policies, like the sanctuary policy, whereas where, where a, a criminal, an uh, undocumented criminal, could come in, kill somebody, and have no record of that, and, have, and, and turn in a different name and a different age. And the next day, kill again under a different name. And our cops' hands are tied because they cannot put this guy in prison. I, I think the, the, the Chronicle is doing a very good job in terms of exposing what's going on. And there's a serious fear. You know, you have a lot of kids, you, you have a lot of parents, you have a lot of, we're just struggling, uh, you know, working people in this district. So public safety has got to be taken care of. Okay. Well, uh, you, uh, I have laid out a number of problems in that area. Right. They're, they're not exclusive to that area, I right. know, but I know that um, there's something. And certainly, the citizens, uh, as you point out, can be right. afraid to even go outside sometimes. Let's exactly. hope they get resolved one way or another. Uh, Myrna, nice to have you here. Okay. Myrna Lim is running for Board of Supervisors in District 11. You heard her story. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you. Thanks, Myrna.